Today, we're gonna play with a full face of drugstore beauty award winners from 2020. We have a lot of good stuff, so let's just jump right into it. Let's start off with the eyeshadow winner. This is by L'Oreal. This is their Brilliant Eyes Liquid Eyeshadow. And they do retail for $11.99 from Ulta. I'm gonna first start off with maybe using my fingers and then go in with the brush and see how well it is to apply. So let's start first with Rose Gem all over the eyelid. Ooh, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Wow, that's pretty. So they definitely feel very creamy. They don't feel that liquidy as I thought they would. I'm gonna keep working one eye at a time and just build up the pigment that I want. Cause I really wanna see if these layer really well. It looks like it's picking up the eyeshadow underneath just a little bit. It's nice that the color is just so pretty. Yeah, that color payoff is stunning. Yeah, definitely layering this on. You have to work very gently with the eyeshadows. So otherwise you can start picking up the other the, the other layer underneath. I'm gonna move on to eyeliner and this NYX Epic Wear Waterproof Eye and Body Liner won the award and I have shade brown. And this retails for $10 from Ulta. But this eyeliner right here is very interesting in texture. It's really thick. Oh, wow, that is pigmented. Okay. It drew over the, the eyeshadow really easily over that glitter. Sometimes, with glitter, it's so hard to draw anything. Oh wow, you see that? <laughs> Let me clean that up real quick. Moving on to mascara, this one is by Maybelline. This is their Falsies Lash Lift Mascara and this one retails for $10.49 at Ulta. This one right here has nice boar bristles, a nice hourglass shape which I'm very excited about. And the formula doesn't seem very wet. It seems pretty lightweight. And I do have the, like I said, the eyeliner on my lashes. So I feel like it's stuck a little bit on there. The brush is not going through the lashes as well as I would want it to. So far the formula is nice and dark. It looks like it's separating the lashes as much as it can. But I definitely wanna try this mascara without this eyeliner. Okay, for primer, I'm testing the Neutrogena, Neutrogena again. This right here retails for $14.99. I liked it, but I didn't know how I felt about it because it was supposed to be mattifying, shine control, and it did not none of those things. So, but it did, it did feel good. I wanna test only half of my face this time with this foundation and see maybe it does work better. But right now, I'm not looking that shiny. We'll do the right side. We'll do a little bit here, a little bit here, and a little bit here, just to see if there is a difference. It does feel really nice. It does feel like a nice serum on the face. And it doesn't have a scent. Yeah, see, if anything, it gives the face a shine. <laughs> Nothing with. For the foundation, I'm really excited about this because I haven't tried it, but I've heard only good things about this. This is by Revlon. Photo Ready Candid Natural Finish Anti-Pollution Foundation. And this retails for $8.99 from Target. And I picked up two shades, 130 Ivory and 120 Buff, which mm, looks a little bit too light. The buff so i think we're gonna have to go with 130 ivory so what it says online what this foundation is and what it's good for it is anti-pollution antioxidant anti-blue light ingredients it has medium coverage that is really buildable and it's a natural finish yeah i'm just excited so many good reviews on this Ooh, wow whoa that's actually really thick okay that's very thick i'm gonna try it start off with a little bit and it doesn't have a scent, and this is clean on the Target website. So I wanna first start with a brush. This is the e.l.f. Buffing Foundation Brush, one of my favorite brushes that are cheaper. It's just so good. Wow, okay, that was actually really easy. And whatever I have on my face right now, it definitely looks like a nice light medium coverage. Wow, that was really easy to blend. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so far with the first application and impression. This is a beautiful foundation. And it looks really nice with a sponge or a brush. I'm gonna take a little bit more of the 130 and go over areas where I want a little bit more coverage because I really wanna see how much we can layer before we start looking like really heavy or cakey. I think this is definitely more for people that have like oily skin, but I think even if you're drier, just moisturize, get yourself a nice hydrating primer underneath 
and try this out because this finish is beautiful. So for eyebrow, we have this product right here that won the award, also by L'Oreal. This is their Unbelievable Brow Longwear Brow Gel and it retails for $16.99. This kind of reminds me of the Wonder Beauty. Do you remember that? No, Wonder Brow. Wonder Brow, yeah, not Wonder Beauty. Wonder Brow that we tested years ago and we actually went to the beach when we lived in Florida to test it out and it was on there. It was on there, did not go. They say you basically apply the product to fill in sparse areas, but use an angle brush to outline and define brow shape and arches with feather-like strokes. So you do have to have a separate, very thin angled brush with a spoolie. So that's how I'm gonna apply it. Just take it to the back of my hand and just start working it into my brows. If anything, it's a very forgiving product. The color literally like disappears. Let's get this shade right here. Let's do light brown. I did actually pick up two shades. I'm having a hard time with this product. It dries down really quick, but it's not really letting me draw it on, which doesn't make any sense. All right, got the brows on. It took a little bit of effort, but honestly, this is a very subtle brow product. Even though it looks very intense on the packaging, especially when you take it out, when you start kind of playing with it, it's a very forgiving product. You still have a little bit of time to play with it and brush up, brush up, <laughs> what? Use a spoolie and kind of really help blend everything together. Okay, let's move on to the concealer. For a concealer, it's the CoverGirl that won the award. The CoverGirl True Blend Undercover Concealer. I picked up two shades. We have Fair Porcelain and Light Ivory. And this retails for $11.99 from Alta. It's actually more expensive than the foundation. Wow, that's bright. Oh my goodness. Woo. 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 Let's go with the brush first. And so many of you always ask what this brush is. This is by Rare Beauty. It's kind of replaced all my other concealer brushes at the moment. I can't help myself. It's just such a good brush. And I think it's under 20 bucks. I think it might be like $16 brush. Great price for this brush. Uh, that blended out really easy, but it looks like I have to kind of work quick with it. Sets. I'm gonna go over with the dampened sponge that I was using. You know what, because it is such a bright concealer, I kind of want to highlight my face with this. Concealer looks like it's a good medium to full coverage depending how much concealer you apply, but it blended out really easily. So for the contour, what won for the bronzer was the Physician's Formula Sculpting Bronzer, and this retails for $11.99 from Ulta. I picked up two shades. They have two shades available right now. So here we have Mocha, nice and dark. Toffee is a little bit more on the warmer side. So I think I might go with this one right here. The brush I'm using is by Fenty Beauty. This is her 125 face brush. Kind of work that in there. And I'm just carving out the face a little bit. The product is actually quite nice. Very blendable, very creamy, and it doesn't have a scent if you're wondering. For blush, we have these two by Maybelline. This is their Cheek Heat Gel Cream Blush. Ooh, that's nice. I have two shades. I have Nude Burn, number 30, and then 15 Coral Ember. I kinda wanna apply it first and see how pigmented or not pigmented it is. Ooh, okay. That looks like a very forgiving blush. It definitely has like a, like they said, gel cream texture. It's also kind of moussey, but definitely more gel-like. That's the nude burn. Honestly, I'm just gonna mix these two together. Quite easy to apply. Looks very, very beautiful on the skin, actually. That's really pretty. And for powder, we have this Physician's Formula Natural Defense Setting the Tone Finishing Powder, and this does have SPF in it, SPF of 20. And this retails for $14.99, and I picked up shade Fair. And this does have a scent but it's quite pleasant. This is by It Cosmetics. This is their powder brush. And just very lightly tap that on to the face. I just wanna make sure the blush and bronzer are not gonna go anywhere. And even though it's shade fair, I feel like it's looking really nice on the skin. It definitely blurred me out, wow. Oh, we do have a highlighter. This right here is by Pixie Beauty. It just says Glowy Powder Radiance in Peach Dew, and this retails for $18. So I'm definitely gonna use this as like a topper for my blush. Ooh, oh my gosh. Ooh, wow, a little goes a long way. <laughs> Last but not least, we have lips. 
we have this product by ColourPop. This is their Just a Tint, and it's kind of like a chubby lip pencil and lip crayon. And this retails for $8 at Ulta. I got two shades. I got Chubby Bunny, <laughs> cute shade Chubby name, Bunny. Chubby Bunny, and then called The Strand. Ooh. Wait, what is that scent? Kind of reminds me of a candy I grew up eating. I don't remember what the flavor was though, but I'm gonna use the strand, not chubby bunny. I literally wanna eat this pencil, this crayon. It's applying really nicely. Mm, this feels so nice on the lips. So what they're saying, this is a comfy, hydrating crayon that adds the perfect sheer wash of color to create healthy, glowy lips. Yes, I agree. Definitely very healthy. A very comfortable formula. It's very lightweight. It feels so good, nice and creamy. And I think just a perfect amount of color. You can just apply it on the go, not even looking in the mirror. And I feel like you're gonna get a nice wash of color. Wow, this is beautiful. It's loaded with passion fruit oil, coconut oil, marula oil, and shea butter. I like this a lot. Mm, yes, yes, please. I like it. I did wanna use the lightest shade of the eye, um, eyeshadows, Crystal Shine, to highlight the inner corner of my eyes. And I also wanna apply some mascara to the lower lash line. You guys, I think I like everything a lot besides two things. Well, the first one being the Neutrogena. Like I said in the other video, I like it, but then I don't know if I love it. But I think overall, everything looks very even. And I'm looking at my face, like my pores don't look extra blurred on the right side where I applied the primer. And the next product that I'm not really excited about is the eyebrow product. Yes, it definitely works. It's more of a forgiving product, but I'm not loving it for my eyebrows. I just prefer a pencil, honestly, and just a nice clear brow gel on top of it. But everything else I'm really excited about, especially the base products like the foundation. I don't know why I didn't try this sooner. I really, really like how it's looking on the skin. It's looking really nice on both sides with the primer and without the primer. Next product I definitely wanna play with and pick up different shades is the CoverGirl True Blend Concealer. I'm really liking it so far, but it's definitely a little bit too bright and I definitely and I use the darker, sh darker shade. Yes, it's a darker shade from the two that I picked. I definitely wanna pick up more concealers that are a little bit closer to my true, my true skin tone color. And then the next thing I didn't think I was gonna enjoy as much, but this setting powder, something about it is making my skin look so stunning. And then also the Physician's Formula Cream Bronzer, really easy to blend. The only thing is the shade range is very limited. These were the only two shades and I did use the darker shade out of the two and it's looking really nice on my skin tone. Blushes, beautiful blushes. Again, I think they're very easy to work with. Definitely very forgiving blushes. And I think they set really beautifully. And then this little topper from Pixie Beauty, stunning. I think the combination is really, really something else. And then last but not least for the eyes, the eyeshadows. I think I wanna pick up more shades. I think it's definitely for people that love glitter. It's definitely for people that love a nice cream eyeshadow. Kind of you put it on there and you're good to go type of a look. The only thing I wanna say negative is when you start applying a little bit more layers, it can start looking patchy. So you have to be very careful how you blend it to your eyes. And it does kind of transfer to your face a little bit here and there, but it's not it's not bad. And then the next thing with this eyeliner, I'm not sure how I feel about it. I really like that it's really dark. The texture of it is very interesting. Like it's very creamy, but it's also kind of sticky. And it definitely, it dried down really matte, which I love out of a eyeliner. But the one thing is it kind of does stick to your lashes and it sticks on there pretty well. You have to kind of clean it off. So I feel like this eyeliner is not going anywhere because it is waterproof. So we'll see how it is to take off at the end of the night. I'm really curious if I'm gonna have to really scrub my eyes, which that is a big no-no for me. Next thing, mascara. Like I said, I wanna keep playing it without this eyeliner because the eyeliner did get stuck to the tips of my lashes and it kind of prohibited the mascara to roll really well on my lashes. But as of right now, I really like it. It looks like it's not flaking. It looks like it's not transferring, but we'll see how it is at the end of the night with the lower lash line. I'll see you soon. You guys, this has been one of the most successful full face of makeup. I think it still looks incredible for the entire day of wear. And I'm just so happy that 
I don't look like a greasy mess. I look a little bit shiny in the forehead, but honestly, I'm really liking at what level shine I'm at. Yes, where I have my, my smile lines, there is a little bit of creasing, a little bit of cracking, but it's looking quite good. I don't look like a hot mess, and my skin still looks very beautiful, very airbrushed. The only thing I'm really noticing is the mascara. It transferred to the bottom right here, underneath my eyes. And the other thing is the eyebrows. I'm not really liking the way they're looking. I was kind of looking, they're looking a little crusty. They're not looking as good as they usually do. I don't know, I guess I'm not really liking it. And then obviously the lip, the lip crayon, it didn't wear as long, obviously, because I just didn't reapply it after eating, drinking, dinner, whatever else, and it did stain my cupid's bow just a tad. I don't know if you can see that, but it definitely stained this little area. But you guys, from this entire video, I'm gonna recommend four products right here. Actually five, no, six. First being the Candid Foundation. Second, this Physician's Formula Finishing Powder. If you're looking for a cream bronzer contour, very easy to use, very easy to blend. Cheek Heats, very easy to use as well. Even this little topper right here from uh, Pixie Beauty, I think it's a beautiful topper for your face, for your cheeks right here in your temples, stunning. And then this concealer. I actually really enjoy this concealer. And then last but not least, this right here. I actually really like these. I'm really curious how this eyeliner is going to come off. So I'm just gonna go with my first cleanse by Pharmacy, the Green Clean, and just gently start working this in. I was kind of worried about the eyeliner because it was saying it's waterproof. Mascara looks like it's coming off easily. <laughs> That's good. Looks like I didn't have any issue taking off the eyeliner, but a little bit left over still. That was pretty nice. Didn't feel like I have to really scrub my eyelids, which is a huge thing. Good to know. All right, I'm gonna leave it there. Please let me know if you have tried any of these products, which products are your favorite and why. But for now, thank you for watching, spending time with me, and I'll see you next one very soon.